So just reading the title either gives you chills running down your spine or you start to sense your doom approaching. Surface integral for flux. Integral, I know what that word is, a surface. I can maybe imagine what a surface looks like. And it could be that your only mental reference to flux is uh, an old 1980s um, science fiction fun movie. So let me show you what we're here after. We're trying to learn how to calculate this concept of a vector field passing through a surface. And I've got a problem ready to go. Got a vector field, simple vector field, x comma y comma z. And we're going to set up the definite integral expression for flux. In some books, they will call it the outward flux. And we're looking at the first octant portion, or this is our surface that is, of a sphere, radius five. We're not gonna evaluate it. I'm looking at the problem as if you were in a field of study uh, where technology's there. You're not a math major, you're a physicist. You just need to know how to get the information into the machine. And we have our little formula. Well, I mean, that's a little formula. Um, sort of explained recently to do the measurement. So there's really several places that we have to look at. We have to remind ourselves what is G, the function. The vector field, that's not too bad. And what exactly is the region of integration? And so you could approach these in a number of ways. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the last line here, the first octant portion of a sphere. So that will look like for us um, full sphere, radius 5. You know, there's z, and there's x, and there's y. And the first octant... We're looking at you know some you know this section of the surface right here and if you've been around long enough then you know what i'm going to do next probably is i'm going to have that top view because this is a double integral and that's going to be just a quarter of a circle y and x i should have left that for you to discover but i apparently was in a hurry Radius is five. That comes from our sphere itself. We could use this to set up the limits of integration or what I've been calling the boundaries of integration without too much work. Remember a, a circle with radius five, the upper half of it, y equals square root 25 minus x squared. That wouldn't be too difficult to write out. So when I, when I skip to the punchline for this problem, my flux, is going to be a double integral and x goes from 0 to 5 and y goes from 0 to the partial circle here 25 minus x squared and I would do that more slowly but we should have practiced this a lot by now by we I mean you should have practiced this a lot by now I got a vector field x comma y comma z X comma Y comma, I don't think so. You don't get to put Z there. But this is going to be a dy dx integration when the dust settles. No Z's in our dy dx, so I guess I'm going to have to come back and figure out what's going to happen next. So, G. This is our surface. Your teacher, that would be me, did not provide it to you in z equals form. I gave it to you in, well, in the full sphere. So we would have to solve this for z equals 25 minus x squared minus y squared. And I'm going to use the positive part because I am looking at the first octant portion of this. By the next example, you guys should be doing these steps. This is where you pause. You say, what did he say again? And you come back and you write yourself little notes to script yourself through this. All right. So my 
g of xy. So the negative x parcel derivative is going to be negative, uh, let's see, 1 half. 25 minus x squared minus y squared to the negative half power multiplied by negative 2x. Negative and negative is positive. 2 divided by 2 is 1. That's going to be x divided by square root 25 minus x squared minus y squared, which is probably off your screen. So let me fix that problem. With the y partial derivative, you're going to have something very similar y divided by square root 25 minus x squared minus y squared. And the z component is 1. And you can see here, I guessed, but I did not guess well. So I'm going to give myself the red pen as a little partial punishment. Dot product, x components multiplied, y components multiplied. Oh yeah, z. What was z? Well, z is my surface. And I solved it for z equals, now what is that? 25 minus x squared minus y squared in the root. Now, first impressions don't indicate that this would be a fun integration. Converting to polar would definitely lighten the load by quite a bit, but I think you'll find that you need some uh, more advanced uh, integral methods than just a use, simple u substitution or basic formulas. But my directions say you don't need to evaluate it. We're just going to set this one up. What if I had a computer that could evaluate this? I might still convert to polar for nice constant boundaries. Fewer variables is always better. But for setting it up, this would be considered the end of that setup. All right. Good luck when you try the next problem.